Paul saying, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. Verse 26, For the king knoweth of these things, before whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him, for this thing was not done on earth. Bili mumu kaga, Bible nege na maso ne gamba, kubanga kabaka amanye ebi gambo binu, ye gwenjo gera mumasto ge, nubu gumu, kubanga amanye ebi gambo binu, tebiya kwe sewa eri kabaka ne chimu, kubanga echo, techa korewa, mubu ba. Amen. Amina. It's interesting that we as human people, chino chisa nyusa nyofe inga avantu, avantu avomu bili, we put things in corners, that we don't need. We don't use them often. So the corners of our house are full of things we don't use. They're usually not cleaned as well as the middle of the room. It just becomes a collecting point of many things. But we need to understand today there are some things that God has given to us. They're not to be kept on and forgotten. But the blessings of God are to be used by His people. God always blesses you. You can be a blessing. He gives for you so you can help someone else. Amen. Amen. God. When God blesses it is not for you are to bless the house of God. You are to bless hurting. Don't allow things to be cornered and forgotten about. Paul here is telling the king. I am not mad. I'm just telling you what the truth is. Because you know those things. You have heard about them. Because this thing, this gospel, the power of the Holy Ghost, was not done in a corner. It was not done in secret. But it was done openly. That as God poured out His Spirit upon men, all saw them. Jerusalem heard them as God was doing something powerful. So people should not hide their eyes. That when they hear the word of truth, when the word of God comes to them, they honor and fight with what they have. Let God give us a holy unsatisfaction that we can be changed by the power of the Holy Ghost to please God and not ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That on the day of Pentecost, on Acts chapter number 2, it was the birth of the church. 
the scripture says, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, that when the promise of the Father came, when the Holy Ghost from heaven came, it came for a purpose. It came to change people. It came to revolutionize them. To put a fire in their heart. The sign of the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2 was they had a flame of fire on their heads. But that fire did not step inside of them. But it came inside of them as they spoke with other tongues and the power of the Spirit. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. That the church that was born on that day was the power of God coming inside of people. The Bible says, Know ye not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost? That God is in you? You are not your own? That you have been bought with a precious price? That God came to them to change them from scared disciples, full of fear, hiding in the upper room. But when the Holy Ghost came, it brought them from the room. Free. The doors and windows were locked. They were hiding. They didn't want anyone to see them. But that's not God's purpose. God's purpose is this thing was not done in a corner. This is not something secret. But it is for all men to see. And they found themselves outside of the room on the streets of Jerusalem and they were staggering, falling on the ground, saying strange things. And the people said, they are drunk. Peter said, oh no, we're not drunk like you think. Amen. But the, the sh those that were scared, when the Spirit of God came into them, they became bold for Jesus, and they testified of the goodness of God, they worshiped God. They spoke with other tongues as their life was changed. Hallelujah. Amen. What God has done for us today, He is exposing us and exposing the world to us that we are the children of God that you are changed by the power of the Holy Ghost. We need to be bold like the disciples. We need to worship God on the streets. We need to worship God in the house. We need to lift up Jesus in the churches. For this thing was not done in a corner. That God wants it all over the world. He wants His Spirit to strive with all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can read in the Scripture that when people come to God, 
It changes them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We need to be changed. Not hiding in a corner. But preaching the word of God. To every person. Jesus said something very uniquely. In John chapter 14 and verse 12. He said to the disciples. Greater works than these shall you do. Jesus healed the sick. Amen. Amina. He cleansed the leper. He anointed many people. He dead. He did many great things. And people looked at him and they said, Yes, but you're the Christ, the Son of God. I'm just a man. And Jesus rebuked them and he turned to them and he says, Greater works than these shall you do. You are to walk in humility. You are to walk in power. You are to rejoice in persecution. You ought to be selfless. Putting other people first. You put yourself last. You need the experience of sacrifice. To give to God. Not just out of extra things. But sacrifice means. You give till it hurts. As a woman that gave the two mites. Jesus told his disciples. Look at that widow woman. She just gave two mites. But she gave more than that man that gave a million shillings. Because she has given from her living. And he gave from his extra. Sacrifice is walking in faith. And giving till it hurts. Giving from your living. To allow God to use you. And keep you humble. Greater works. You will do. If you follow Jesus Christ. And keep your attitude right. And you walk in the spirit. Keeping the right attitude before God. When you have received the gift of God. And you have proven it. With the evidence of speaking with other tongues, you have been born again. Quit hiding in a corner. Quit hiding behind excuses. Quit using lockdown as an excuse. Quit talking about bad things. But get out of the corner. And begin to believe in God. That God can do great things. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Learn to pray. Learn to sacrifice. Learn to rejoice in persecution. Stay humble. Get rid of pride. Walk with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The scripture says in Acts chapter 3. 
that Peter and John went to the temple for prayer. Okusaba. As was their habit. We think of habits. Sometimes we only think of bad habits. But we need good habits. Hallelujah. Amen. We need good habits. Let me say it one more time. Forget the bad things. Get victory over them. And have good habits. Everyone said amen. Praise God. The Bible tells us uh, just a few sentences. That when Peter walked and his shadow fell on the sick people. They lay around the road to the temple. And Peter was walking to church. And his shadow fell on the sick. They were healed. He didn't lay hands on them. He didn't pour oil on them. But there was something about the power of Peter's life. Was holy before the Lord. And when it touched the sick, it rebuked it. They were healed. He walked so close to Jesus that when he walked, Jesus walked with him. And their shadow fell on the sick. They were healed. Amen. It was not done in a corner. It was done openly. Hallelujah. I mean, in the book of Acts, and you start counting the time that Peter was arrested for preaching. Hallelujah. It got to the point that Peter said to the official, We need to obey God rather than man. Hallelujah. They couldn't say anything. And in Acts chapter 4, when they went before the rulers, they brought a guest with them. The lame man that was healed in Acts chapter 3. And the rulers of the of the religion of God's people. The Bible, they could say nothing because the layman was standing Kuwanga beside Peter. We have to get out of the corner and pick up the work of God. Don't hide it. Don't hide your ministry. Don't hide what God has for you. Begin, begin working for God. Even in this lockdown. God for you. God to do. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Don't hide. But do the work of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you deny the Lord, the Lord. Is that what the Bible says? Bible says. What it says. We live in 
Yes, there's much suffering. There are many problems. There are many problems that work differently. But God is in control. God has things He is doing. And we need to do His work. Hallelujah. Amen. So it was the Spirit of God that came into the lives of the disciples that they were able to stand before kings and preach the gospel. They were world changers because they were changed. In 2021, we need to understand that God has filled you with the Holy Ghost, not just for yourself, but to change you so you can be a worker in the field. We need to be God seekers. We need to allow the Spirit to lead us. It is the cross. It is the movement of God that has brought us to this day to change the world. Amen. Not just us. But when God moves in your life, he does it so you can change your own world. There are always problems. I tell the parable of the fisherman that caught fish in Lake Victoria. Now this is a parable. He asked in London. And they talked among themselves. And, and the brother in London said, Why don't you send me some fish? I can sell them here in London and make so the fisherman said, good idea. So he said, and by the time the airplane arrived, and his brother picked the fish, they were spoiled. They were soft. No one would buy them. So he called the fisherman, and could not sell the fish. We need to do something different. So the fisherman went to church and began to pray. Help me, God. How can I get our tilapia to London in a good way? So the idea came to him. He built a tank, put water in it. Put the fish in it and sent it to London. So when the brother came and got the tank of fish, many of the fish were dead. The, the water was bad. And, and the fish that were alive, they were no good to eat. So he called. And said, I cannot sell these fish. And so the brother said, Oh, what are you going to do? So he went. And God inspired him. So he built a tank, put water in, put the tilapia. And then he got a Nile perch. 
and threw it in the tank. What do you think that Nile perch started to do? That perch was chasing tilapia all through the tank. So when the brother came and picked the tank and the fish, he found strong tilapia. They were the best tilapia. Because all that time, they were swimming and running away from the Nile perch. So the parable is this. Sometimes we reject God. We want God to take our trouble. But many times, it is our troubles that will pray. It is our they will make us strong. They will make us valuable. They will make us healthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Nile perch was not throwing the tilapia. But he was making them better. There are always problems in life. But it is how you react to the problem. You can allow the problem to defeat you. You can allow the problem to destroy you. Or you can learn to have victory over your problem. You can be an overcomer. Amen. Amina. When Satan comes against the church and tries to destroy us, we say, no. I rebuke that spirit that I'm going to stand strong in the Holy Ghost. And the enemy cannot defeat the church. Let's get out of the corner. Let's be strong for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. For the church is here in Uganda in the middle of lockdown. Not to hide in a corner. But to be exposed to the world. That we can be proven to be strong, victorious, overcoming, and bring hope to a hopeless world. Queen Esther said it this way. I might die. I have not been invited to see the king. But who knows? Maybe I am come into this time for such a time as this. Who is going to go to the king? Nobody else could do it. But the queen could. Esther could. And she said, I am come. God has placed me here for this time. Hallelujah. So the church is in Uganda today for this time. When there is little hope, many people are suffering. Let's get out of the corner. Let's get to the place of victory. That this world, Uganda, Uganda, can find hope in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You are called for such a time as this. Nobody else can do it. Only the church. Only you. Refuse doubt and fear. They put your trust in Jesus. Let's worship the Lord. Lord, we thank you today. Jesus, we thank you, God, for your goodness in our lives. We give you glory. Jesus, O Shate in the Lila Lavaya, Koshata Lavayanda Satayaya, touch our lives, O God. Let your word be, let it bear fruit in our lives, Lord. Sayana Bahaya, Tar us up, O God. In a place of communion, Shete Baba, increase our faith in the name of Jesus. Increase our trust in you, Lord. Eyes may be fixed on you. We give you glory for we give you glory for doing in our lives, O God. God declare change in the atmosphere. We declare change in our nation, Uganda. We declare change in the families out there. Declare change, Lord. Change, Lord. Change in the name of Jesus. O Shatalabaya. We declare healing. We declare restoration and people. Peace in the hearts of those that are giving up. Peace in the hearts of those of God that are letting go. Peace, O Lord Jesus. O Shatalabaya. We declare hope, O God. Hope in the name of Jesus. In our nation. Hope, O Lord Jesus. To those that are hungry, hope. To those that are sick, hope. Oh God, to those that are giving, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. Thank you for who you are. We thank you, Jesus, for your goodness in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Shall we give God a mighty hand? Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. We, we worship a mighty God. Praise the name of Jesus. He is like none other. Praise the name of Jesus. And we hope that you have been blessed today. Hallelujah. For that wonderful word. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Um, just to say to those people that are online. I was streams are still having issues. But they are better than before. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's just getting better and better. And we believe that God is going to make it even better. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to quickly remind you to give in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Your 10% belongs to God. Praise the name of Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That portion is ah, ah. <laughs> So shall we just take a moment on your phone or something and uh, just... Uh, 
give the Lord his portion. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is good. Um, uh, the numbers uh, are in the group. And uh, also, um, uh, you can also check the Facebook page. Some of those posters that we have laid out, those numbers are there. Praise the name of Jesus. So please, uh, let's give our tithe and let's give our offering in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Our building is looking very good. Uh, transport is uh, released. So come by. Look at this building. Uh, take some time to walk around and pray. Praise the name of Jesus. And support the work. Praise the name of Jesus. Wednesday, we are having our Wednesday Bible study. Friday, there is going to be prayer at 5, just like last time. And also, we are working out a program for the youth. Praise the name of Jesus. So, anytime, just like Brother Mark put it, we are preparing. Praise the name of Jesus. And we will be coming live to you uh, in one of the days of the week that we We hope you are well. Uh, if you need prayer, please let us know in the group. Uh, let us uh, contact any of the ministers. Contact me, contact Pastor Ben, uh, contact any of the ministers. Lillian, youth pastor, and let us know how you are doing. Praise the name of Jesus. If you need prayer, we'll pray. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We hope you've been blessed today. May the good Lord bless you and keep you. Till Wednesday, stay in Christ. Shall we just take time to pray? Jesus, we now thank you for this live stream, O oh God. Thank you for reaching out to those families that are watching, O oh God. And right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray a blessing in their lives. We pray a blessing, O oh God, upon their homes and their children, O oh God. We pray a blessing upon their finances, God. In the name of Jesus, uh, we declare that your grace and your Holy Spirit, O oh God, uh, will cover them, will surround them, O oh God. We declare a cloud of protection. We declare a counsel upon their decisions, O oh Lord Jesus. We declare that your grace and your purposes will be manifest in their lives, O oh Lord Jesus. And we declare that your spirit will continue to, to, to bring them in your presence, O oh God. We honor you and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, God bless. Amen. Amen. Amen.